who deserves the People's Choice Award. Yeah, thanks. I now give you Governor Ron DeSantis. All right. Thanks for that. Well, thank you. We love you, too. For those of you who aren't from Florida, welcome to our oasis of freedom. We are an oasis of freedom in a nation that's suffering in many parts of the country under the yoke of oppressive lockdowns. We look around in other parts of our country, and in far too many places, we see schools closed, businesses shuttered, and lives destroyed. And while so many governors over the last year have kept locking people down, Florida lifted people up. Florida is leading in protecting our vulnerable residents, saving the economy, and safeguarding the freedom of our people. In Florida, schools are open. Every Floridian has a right to earn a living, and all businesses have a right to operate. Now, we are stronger as a state and much happier as a people because of this leadership. Florida has lower per capita COVID mortality than the national average and lower than 27 other states. Our unemployment rate is lower than the national average, even though tourism isn't fully back. It is in great shape. We have not touched one red cent from our rainy day fund throughout this whole time. Florida got it right, and the lockdown states got it wrong. Florida has also led and continues to lead on ensuring the integrity of our elections. Now, 20 years ago, if you had uttered the word Florida and the word elections in the same sentence, you would have been met with Snickers. Well, when I came into office, I didn't wait for a crisis. I took early action to make sure we'd have a smooth election. One of the first things I did was accept the resignation of Brenda Snipes as the supervisor of election in Broward County. Supervisor of election in Palm Beach County. We got those going in a good direction. And then when COVID hit, I rejected pressure to make hasty and ill-conceived changes to our election administration like mass mailing of unsolicited ballots. And the result, on election night, by midnight, the state of Florida had counted, tabulated, and put out 11 million votes. But we're not resting on our laurels. This year, Florida is leading on banning all forms of ballot harvesting and banning third party and banning third party political groups like those funded by billionaire Mark Zuckerberg from interfering in the administration of our elections. The bottom line is this in Florida, your vote counts. And we will continue to have a process that is transparent and that inspires confidence. Florida is also leading in protecting our people from political censorship and in holding big tech accountable. When our legislature convenes next month, it will pass and I will sign the most ambitious reforms yet proposed for, for combating political censorship and deplatforming, for preventing big tech from interfering in our elections, and for safeguarding the privacy of your personal data. In Florida, we are not going to let the terms of the debate in our country be set by oligarchs in Silicon Valley. Now, Florida is leading on the issues that matter to conservatives. We don't spout hollow rhetoric. We take decisive action. And what's true in Florida is true for conservatives 
across the nation. We cannot, we will not go back to the days of the failed Republican establishment of yesteryear. We reject open borders and instead support American sovereignty and the American worker, building a movement on the foundation of amnesty and cheap foreign labor, la labor is like building a house on a field of quicksand. We reject weakness in the face of the threat posed by China, including their actions in international trade. We reject military adventurism, instead support a strong defense solely for the purpose of protecting our nation and its people. Now, the battles ahead will be made more difficult without the voice of one of our greatest field generals, my friend, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> On Wednesday, the state of Florida had the flags flown at half staff in honor of Rush, in honor of his legacy. Rush displayed the courage of his convictions time and time again. Rush was one of the first to fight and win against cancel culture. Rush showed that fighting the left requires strength and that conservatism devoid of backbone is doomed to fail. So at this moment in our history, and I think Rush showed us this, but particularly now, standing for the right things comes at a cost. You will be attacked, you will be smeared, and you may even be canceled by the major organs of the political left. Now, anyone can spout conservative rhetoric. We can sit around and have academic debates about conservative policy, and I'm not saying you don't do any of that. But the question is, when the Clegg lights get hot, when the left comes after you, will you stay strong or will you fold? So enjoy CPAC in Florida as you leave to go back home, although if you're not from here, I don't know why you'd want to leave here. <laughs> but when you do and you engage in the battles ahead, hold the line, stand your ground, and don't ever, ever back down. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.